Get ready. Miracle time. Miracle galore. Supernatural freedom. By my right hand side, if you are true, wave your hand at me. Wave it if you are true, cancel us. At the middle, if you are free, if you are true, wave your hand at me. You are true, okay. By my left hand side, if you are true, wave your hand at me. Left hand side, you are true. I can't see your hands. Then quickly do so, please. Make sure you take all their particulars as indicated in the form. Towards the back, if you are true, wave your hand at me. Everybody stand up and get ready for your miracle. I said, praise the Lord. It's coming your way. What are you? Miracle. Healing. Supernatural wonders tonight in Jesus' name. The deliverer, the healer has come. Whatever you are, whatever the problem may be, just lay your hand there. And raise up the other hand at the mention of the name of Jesus, that thing will vanish away. And a settled freedom comes to you tonight. A sure freedom comes to you tonight. And a supernatural freedom from every sickness, every yoke, every affliction comes to you tonight in Jesus' name. Raise up that hand and lay the other hand where you have the challenge. When you hear the final amen, check up, the miracle will have arrived. Amen. amen. We're ready now. Heaven is ready for you. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, the name that cannot fail, the name that heals the sick, the name that destroys every work of the devil. I come now on behalf of everyone, everyone here, everyone online, everyone everywhere. Lord, I pray, perform your miracle of healing, deliverance right now in Jesus' name. That madness, I command you. Come out in Jesus' name. All the spiritual demonic problems, you cannot resist the power of the name of Christ. I command those demonic afflictions, come out in Jesus' name. Any swelling, goiter, hunchback, fibroid, Elephantiasis, near, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. All the tumor there, come out right now in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, for those who have so-called incurable disease, like cancer, any other problem like that, Lord, I pray, 
touch them. Heal them now in Jesus' name. Amen. Affliction, long-standing problem, infirmity, deformity, long-standing problem, the Lord touch you right now. Amen. Be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, I pray for the sound of the power of darkness. I break that yoke right now. I destroy all those fetters and chains and shackles in Jesus' name. Total freedom. Complete freedom. Total deliverance upon every life right now in Jesus' name. Those blind eyes be opened in Jesus' name. The ears be opened in Jesus' name. Dumb tongues be loosed in Jesus' name. And I pray, Lord, for those who are lame, paralyzed, having slow stroke, or, or a broken bone, touch them right now. And I pray the mighty power of the Lord will mend everything in your life. All those who have all the challenges that they themselves I've mentioned to you, I pray, Lord, come to them right now, set them free. Break every yoke. Destroy the works of the devil. Manifest your miracle power, your healing, your deliverance in the life of everyone right now. Right, left, center, at the back, online, everywhere, receive your miracle. Confirm it in every life, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I got it. I got it. You have gotten it in Jesus' name. Check up yourself, your miracle, your healing, your deliverance is right there. I've got it. I have got it. Now you shout the shout of praise. If you have got it, you say praise the Lord. We rejoice with you because you have gotten it. You have gotten it. Right at the back, you have gotten it. So check yourself right now. What you could not do before, start doing it. You discover the power of God has touched you. You are being healed. Wherever you are, start coming out. Just shout praise the Lord. And we all here, we celebrate with you. We celebrate with you. Yes, let's hear you wherever you are. Wherever you are. At the left hand side, you are received. Just shout praise the Lord. And start coming out. Start coming out. Cancel us, bring them out. Those who have received, those who are lame, that can now walk, bring them out. Bring them out. Check yourself. Amen. Start coming out. Start coming out. This is movement of jubilation. This is movement of rejoicing. Check yourself. And say, praise the Lord. Wherever you are, you receive your miracle, shout praise the Lord, and start coming out. Come out to the left-hand side here, where you've been interviewed to give your testimony. Start coming out. Start coming out. Start walking. Wherever you are, you were not able to walk before. Start coming out. The Lord has done great things in our midst. Start coming out. Testimony time is starting very soon now. Start coming out. Check yourself and start coming out. And if you have discovered, you have received, just say, just say praise the Lord. We rejoice with you. We celebrate with you. Start coming out. We are waiting for you. Start coming out. Let's start interviewing them and line them up. Start coming out. 
Start coming out, you have received. Start coming out. The blessing of the Lord has come upon you. Start coming out. Yes, yes, start coming out. Yes, start coming out. Live where you are, start coming out. You have been saved from sin. The joy of salvation flood your heart now. Start coming out. You receive your healing. Start coming out. We are waiting for you. Tonight is night of testimony. Night of testimony. Everyone will hear your testimony. Start coming out online. Check yourself also. Check yourself and send us a, a, a message. Send a message online and let us rejoice with you also. Start coming out. Start coming out. The God of miracle has touched you already. Start coming out. Start coming out. The miracle is taking place there. Is it taking place? Check yourself. Check yourself. And shout praise the Lord. Check yourself and shout praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Start coming out. The yoke is broken. The sicknesses are healed. Start coming out. Start coming out. Start coming out. As you are coming out, be jubilating. And just start saying praise the Lord. He has done wonderful things in your life. Start coming out. Start coming out. Start coming out. Heaven is rejoicing on your behalf. Start coming out. Live where you are. You were not able to walk before. Now you can walk. Start coming out. Start coming out. He has done it. He has done it. Start coming out. We are waiting for you. Please interview them and line them up. Interview them, line them up. The Lord has done great things in our midst today. He has touched us. He has touched you. Come out and testify. God bless you. Start coming out. Start coming out. In the night, the hand of God. This one is just evil that he sent somebody to me where I was living. I know he prayed and all others. In the night, an invisible hand went into me, removed the whole problem. As I gave that testimony one day, somebody received also. The same problem, the same miracle. Don't go home. Remain where you are. Buses are available. So remain where you are. Listen until the last testimony. If our Father in the Lord is seated, He is going to sit and listen to the testimony. We don't have rights to go. Start coming out. We are waiting for you. I can see the calmness. God bless you. Maintain your calmness. Those who have testimony, start coming out. Start coming out. The Lord has done great things tonight. The Lord has done great things tonight. He was going to help him to heal. Sorry, he was going to help him to, to build the fence outside of the, of the church. And um, so I went, he asked me to come along with him. So I went along with him and the pastor's wife was there and the two grandchildren as well. And when I spoke to the pastor's wife, she said that the two grandchildren were there because she was babysitting them for her daughter who had gone into hospital because she, she, um, she had had some difficulty because she was pregnant. And um, they had discovered, even while we were there, that she had an embolism on the lung. 
And uh, the pastor's wife just um, took my hand and she said, will you pray with me? Because I've been telling her, I've been at the Global Healing Crusade and some wonderful things were being done. So she took my hand and she said, pray for us. So I prayed, I asked the Lord that the Lord will wipe away. Her, her husband came into the room, the pastor came into the room and he was listening. And um, I said, Lord, just wipe away the diagnosis. Just let them look back on the scan. Uh, let them scan her and let them see there's nothing there anymore. And um, so the pastor, I could see that he looked as if to say, well, I don't think so, but you know, thank you for praying. And she, um, the pastor's wife prayed and then the pastor prayed for um, the situation. And um, anyway, the next day, um, we went back, my husband and I went back to the church to finish off what he was doing on the fence. And the pastor was there, but his wife wasn't there anymore and the children weren't there, the, the, the young ones weren't there. So um, anyway, um, at the end, I was doing my search of scriptures, I was, I was studying my search of scriptures in the car. And then the pastor came up to me and he said, oh, um, uh, by the way, he said, um, we had, uh, my, my daughter came home from the hospital and um, because they discharged her because they couldn't find um, any trace of the, um, of the embolism on her lung. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Amen. Indeed, we give praise to God. It is a wonderful testimony what God has done. The pregnant daughter who had embolism of the lung and it was almost a hopeless situation but because supernatural freedom comes through Christ but before we take you to Taraba Shewa um, Ba from YouTube is testifying of how God healed him from pains in the hip he has been having severe pains in the hip but after the man of God offered prayers he can no longer find our pains in the heap anymore. Indeed, what God is doing. Great things. We'll take you now to Taraba for another great thing that God has done. Freedom all over the world. Taraba, coming up on your screen now. Praise the Lord. My name is Bro Obasi Otisi. I'm from Camp Ground District, Mile 6 Group. Jalingo region, Taraba states. I stand to testify what God has done for me. I had suffered from urinary incontinency for more than 20 years, actually from childhood. And sometimes I bedwet. I had finished the university and then was doing my master's, yet I still bedwet. And it was a cause of embarrassment and shame Sometimes I go to have classes with people, and then if I have a cause to sleep over in my friend's place, I remember one particular time, and I, I, I bedwet there. So it caused shame. So during the Enugu crusade, I was listening, and then the brethren were giving testimony. And one of the brothers, that one that was a driver, mentioned how God healed him. I went home, and I began to cry to God. I said, God... I also have this problem, please take it away from me. And I didn't know when it was gone. And then since that time up to now, it stopped. I say, may the name of the Lord be glorified in Jesus' name. And a big amen to that. You can be sure, whatever embarrassment and whatever shame, freedom is coming to you. We hand over now to the state of Russia. The first testifier, 